Curse of the Pharaohs In the heart of the scorching Egyptian desert, beneath the unforgiving sun, lies a tale that has haunted the dreams of archaeologists and treasure hunters for centuries, the Curse of the Pharaohs. The story begins in the early 20th century when a British archaeologist named Howard Carter embarked on an ambitious expedition to uncover the long-lost tomb of Tutankhamun, the Boy King. After years of tireless excavation and anticipation, Carter's team finally uncovered the entrance to the tomb in 1922. As the tomb's ancient seal was broken, the world eagerly awaited the treasures that lay within. But little did they know that a sinister force had been awakened. The first signs of the curse emerged when Lord Carnarvon, the financial backer of the expedition, fell gravely ill shortly after the tomb's discovery. Within a few weeks, he succumbed to a mysterious and rapidly spreading infection, leaving the world to speculate about the curse's existence. Rumors began to circulate, suggesting that the curse was real, and it sought vengeance on anyone who dared to disturb the resting place of the pharaohs. But it wasn't just Lord Carnarvon who suffered. Several members of the excavation team experienced a series of unfortunate events. Some met untimely deaths, while others suffered from mysterious ailments. Newspapers across the globe fueled the hysteria, sensationalizing the alleged curse and its terrifying consequences. Perhaps the most chilling incident occurred when an Egyptian noblewoman, Lady Evelyn Herbert, who had been present at the tomb's opening, faced her own brush with the curse. Her family was struck by a string of tragedies, including the death of her father, Lord Carnarvon, and her stepbrother's mysterious demise. As the curse continued to claim lives and sow fear, many believed that the only way to break the curse was to return all the stolen treasures to the tomb and seal it once more. However, this was easier said than done, as many of the artifacts had already been scattered across the globe. Over time, the hysteria surrounding the curse of the pharaohs waned, and rational explanations for the deaths emerged. Medical science attributed Lord Carnarvon's death to a mosquito bite that became infected, while others were victims of the era's limited medical knowledge and the harsh conditions of the excavation site. Yet the legend of the curse endures, a chilling reminder of the power and mystery that still surrounds the ancient world of Egypt. Whether it was a supernatural force or mere coincidence, the curse of the pharaohs serves as a cautionary tale to those who dare to disturb the sanctity of the tombs and temples hidden beneath the desert sands. A tale that reminds us that some secrets are best left undisturbed.